Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make homemade pretzels. Yep, I'm even going to show you how to twist them. The ingredients we're going to need for the pretzels is five cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of water at a temperature of 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, one half cup of milk that we need at a temperature of 110 degrees Fahrenheit, one tablespoon of your active dry yeast, like I'm showing you right here, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of sugar, four teaspoons of baking soda, and we're gonna add this to four cups of warm water later on, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and butter for topping our pretzels once we pull them out of the oven. So, let's get started on our pretzel dough. First, we're going to add our yeast right here into our water. It's got a temperature of about 113 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna swirl it around. That's a kind of like a warm bath water. If the water's too hot, it's gonna kill your yeast. If the water isn't warm enough, your yeast is not going to activate. We're gonna set this off to the side. Into the flour, we're going to add the sugar and the salt. Give this a lovely whisking. Time for mixing, oh my goodness. Mmm, this yeast smells absolutely fantastic. I add my liquids to the bottom of my mixing bowl first. That way the flour mixture is gonna stick to the bottom of your bowl. And then I'm adding the milk along with that flour, salt, and sugar mixture. And we'll just put it on there. I'm using, whoop, got a flour shower. My KitchenAid dough attachment hook. I'm first going to add my my bowl here. I'm adding my dough attachment. If you want, you can go ahead and mix this by hand and then you can turn it onto a floured surface and knead it until it's no longer sticky. I'm gonna let my KitchenAid take care of that part as I scrape down the sides of the bowl. And when it's no longer sticky, I know it'll be time to let the dough rise. This should take about 10 minutes. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, and it smells so delicious. And I wanna show you. See where it's not sticky anymore? It'll come right off of that dough hook in this bowl. I've lightly oiled it. I got a little oil on some paper towel and I went around. If you wanna spray it, you may do that too. We're just gonna get it out. Cover with a damp tea towel and let rise in a warm draft free area for one hour. I'm preparing to roll out our pretzels. But first, we're going to need a baking soda bath. I use four cups of very super hot tap water with those four teaspoons of baking soda. And what we're gonna do is really whisk this around until all that baking soda dissolves until your water's clear. I've greased several large cookie sheets. If you wanna use a spray oil, you may, but I just use a little vegetable oil to give it a light coating because we definitely do not want our pretzels sticking to our baking pans. We've got our dough and we're going to just turn it out upside down until it comes out of its bowl. It should come out very easily because we had it oiled. As you can see, I gave my dough a little kneading and now I'm going to cut a strip off and put it in little flour so it won't be so sticky on us. As you can see, we have pieces of tape from here to here. Stretch it out by pulling, just like this, and then you're gonna go back and forth. You want it about the size of your little pinky there. I'm really starting to get good at this. I've been practicing it. So we're gonna do an upside down U, twist twice, one, two, bring the ends down, pinch them together, and there you go. You got your lovely pretzel. Now you're gonna dip it in your soda solution, bring it out, dip it over on paper towels, dry it off, and put it over here on your cookie sheet. Okay, and I've got my oven preheating to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna bake these for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. Before adding these to the oven, I'm gonna put a little kosher salt on three of them, and three I'm gonna leave plain because I'm gonna show you how I'm going to add the cinnamon and sugar. And those look perfect, and now these are off to that 550 degree preheated oven for the next 
10 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. While the pretzels are baking, I've got one tablespoon of granulated sugar and I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna swirl this around and this is what is gonna make our sugar cinnamon pretzels. Pretzels have baked and look how pretty they turned out. Now immediately I've melted the butter and we're just gonna brush butter over the top of our pretzels. Okay, just like that. It's all right if it sizzles on the pan a little bit. This gives it awfully delicious, fantastic flavor. And even the ones that we just salted, I'm gonna go ahead and butter those as well. For that cinnamon and sugar, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle it on the top of our pretzels without the salt. And that butter will just help it absorb right in to those pretzels. All right, y'all, so there you have it, your homemade pretzels. Those look absolutely marvelous. Can't wait to show you what they're gonna taste like. All right, I'm just gonna try them nice and crunchy on the back. Oh, and you just break into it and looky there. You can dip that in a fabulous mustard sauce or whatever your heart desires. Now I've gotta break it into again. So nice and soft. Mmm. Wow. I've got one of those salty pretzels. Fabulous. Can't wait to dig into the cinnamon and sugar. And mmm. I want y'all to know these do not have to be perfect, and you're absolutely going to love them, y'all. Hey, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks a million for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.